for news. We do have some news in the NFL this week. Mike McCarthy, Jerry Jones had a slumber party last night, built some built some pillow forts, and then decided, you know what? Maybe he should be the quarterback of the Dallas Cowboys. Mike McCarthy is now the quarter or the quarterback, the coach <laughs> of the Dallas Cowboys. I think this is gonna be hilarious. I, I don't think so too. Know how this is gonna work, but I think it's gonna be hilarious. I'm glad he's back coaching. I'm glad he's back coaching, too. I do not love the fit. Uh, as you said, I think you, by saying you think it's going to be hilarious, probably means you don't like the fit. Um, yes. and it is going to be hilarious because it's Dallas. Yeah, I, to me, if you're working for Jerry Jones, you kind of have to be his puppet. Mike McCarthy doesn't strike me as a puppet. Um, no. Marvin Lewis struck me more as a puppet, just for some reason. I don't really know why. But I think Marvin Lewis would have been a better fit. Um yeah, uh, this should be interesting. Mike McCarthy, uh, he's kind of got a – I've seen him get very angry on the sideline a few times. He kind of seems to have this fiery side to him that I think he might get really mad at Jerry one day. And it could be a real big disaster show. So He's a big man. <laughs> yeah, he's a big man, and he gets very red on the sideline sometimes. Like, I remember he used to be in that all-green suit, and, I mean, his face would just, boom, just be so <laughs> red sometimes. So, I mean – We'll see. Hopefully it ends up in a big shit storm because I don't like Dallas. So let's hope that it's a, a terrible signing. I think for – so here's the thing. One is he was not an analytics guy, as he made very clear when he was with the Packers. Now, coaches have been known to get fired, have some time off, yep. reevaluate themselves, come back, and be just fine. Yep. Here's the problem. Mike McCarthy, he's not a defensive guy. He is an offensive guy. And he's got a good resume when you look at it on paper. Yeah. But he also had the most physically gifted quarterback we may have ever seen on this planet. And towards the, the end of his tenure there, it was clear Aaron Rodgers was changing the plays, and if not changing the plays, making something happen out of dog shit. Like, giving dog shit and making it a souffle. Like, he was making that train go. So that is super alarming to me. For somebody, if I'm hiring him, I've got a young quarterback in Dak Prescott. I got a young running back. In running back years, he's not that young, but yeah. mentally he's younger. Yeah. yeah. Zeke. You've got some issues at wide receiver because I don't know if Amari Cooper's all that good. Yeah, I don't know. You've got a defense that really needs to kind of get some glue together. You need more structure and discipline. That didn't really seem to be the case in Packers. It was literally just kind of yeah. Aaron Rodgers is holding this thing together, essentially. Yeah, it's a I don't necessarily know if he's going to be a complete failure, but there's nothing there that instills confidence that this is going to go good. It's in my mind going to go hilariously bad. <laughs> I'm with you. I think it's a very average hire um, and it could, it, you know, it could get worse than average. <laughs> now, here's the thing. I heard this. I forget who I heard this from today. During my lunch break, I was listening to somebody might have been like Stephen A or something was a clip. Somebody said it, but they were like, he's a, the, they think the Dallas Cowboys will groom Jason Witten to be a head coach, which I don't know if that's going to go well. Yeah, please do it. That's hilarious. (laughs) But if that is the plan, Mike McCarthy's not a guy that I think, oh yeah, he's going to be there for 10 to 15 years. He seems like uh, this is a kind of fairy keeper into the afterworld. Like he's going to get us to whatever the next coach is, but he's not going to be there very long. So if that's the thought process, maybe. But then again, why don't you bring in somebody like Marvin Lewis that you can push around a little bit more or just like a, take a shot on a random guy like a Greg Roman or somebody. like. Or yeah. you know what I was kind of surprised about? We haven't heard it yet, but Rex Ryan hasn't been mentioned once. I don't know if no, he doesn't want to coach, but he's done a lot worse or he's done a lot more with a lot worse from an offensive perspective. Sure. He's a pretty good coach. Like He's going to get you to the playoffs and you're going to be successful defensively. Like You know that. I think he would have been an interesting. Yeah, they just didn't I would have hated a Rex hiring for that. I mean, they kind of need like a coach that can, that has a bigger personality than Jerry Jones. That's what um, Jimmy Johnson was. Yeah. Um, so Rex would also be that. It's a bigger personality than their owner, but <laughs> they decided not to go for it. Well, they're also you're the Cowboys. You're supposed to be America's team. You're supposed to be this insane franchise and you only look at two guys you only look at marvin lewis and you only look at mike mccarthy yeah that was weird that That doesn't make any sense like that to me just shows 
that that organization, and they haven't been. We all know this. They have not been the or, the pristine organization they once uh, were. But it's sort of that, like, as we talked about with the Saints, window closing. Kind of the window closing on them being a premier job or, like, a job that would be sought out after. Oh, yeah. I think Jerry's killed that. Yeah. Like, you're I think just. He has. This is terrible. Like, you interviewed two guys, and two guys that nobody else was really that excited for. <laughs> right. Agreed. Like, who else yeah. was like. I need these two guys, or I want these two guys. Uh, I don't know another team that was that way. <laughs> like, no that's, that's not good. But yeah. it's the Cowboys, so I don't really care. <laughs> yeah, I think it's great. Yeah, let them fail. Let them yeah. fall straight on their faces. For I sure. am good with it. Um, that's all I kind of got today. You got anything to wrap this up? Final thoughts? That's all I got. Great games. Let's hope they're great games again next weekend for this upcoming uh, week. I think, I think they will be. It was a hell of a week. I do think the lines. I haven't checked the lines, but I think 49ers are probably winning. I think Packs are winning. I think Chiefs are winning, and I think the Ravens are going to win. But the Titans, hold on to your butts, people, because it could get interesting. Yeah, I agree with every one of those picks. <laughs> All right, that does it for us. As always, peace. Hey.